Um, Good afternoon. Do you want me to let's just do you want to just like get right into it? Do you want to just go? Yeah, fun fact, German isn't a real language. It doesn't actually exist. Oh. I feel like that one might be Wait, true. No, what? I mean like oh let me do the intro. Okay, here's the intro. Here's the intro. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Thunk Tanked. My name is Kelvin, and I was asleep just a moment ago, but now I'm here. My name is Andreas, and I wasn't asleep, but I will be soon, and I may wake up. <laughs> My name's Eric, and today I learned that seagulls don't exist. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Is that because they're just like crows that drank too much bleach? <laughs> there are many types of gulls. None of them are seagulls. What the fuck are the loud ones in Walmart parking lots yeah, yeah. across the nation far away from the I ocean? don't know. Those are... look, I, look, I just get all my facts from realverifiedfacts.com. Horizontal oh. pigeons. They're the long... The... Horizontal pigeons. You know, you normal go. pigeons, they're round. And then these ones are long, long and the, not from head to tail, but they're, you know, horizontal. Wide, wide. Wide, wide pigeons. Where... That's what they should be called. Wide. Pancake birds. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn wide pigeons screwing up my walmart parking lot mm. oh god no the walmart parking lot would be a beautiful and serene place if it wasn't for these fucking birds i like them. trying to eke out a living there I, that's i like the birds you like the birds yeah i've been pooped on by a pigeon once yeah but not a by a long pigeon Put no, a normal pigeon. pigeon. Sounds a like normal a great, New York City like, pigeon. I was in New York City. A wide and, pigeon? Uh, yeah, I think it. I think they just call them rude pigeons if they're in New York City. Hmm. I think they call them flying rats in New York City. They do. Well, they, do. they chat on me. That's for goddamn sure. Right. But the wide pi the wide pigeons are okay. No, I mean, they're annoying too. We should uh, eliminate all birds. That way the government can't disguise spy drones as birds. Oh, that is a problem. That... that that theory always really like I was like, ah, birds aren't real, ha ha. No, funny, birds funny are real things. and they must be stopped. Some of those people wow. are really a little too deep in that fake conspiracy. <laughs> like it's a little too far. Yeah, I, I need them to just calm the hell down, just like a a scotch, just a, just a little a little bit. Nah, let people be crazy, yo. I mean, they're gonna be anyway. Might yeah, as well, might like, as well let them. They're not gonna be crazy about, like, birds aren't real is a conspiracy theory that doesn't hurt anybody. Might hurt some birds, but yeah, that's fair. Hmm. You're right. Some lunatic might disassemble a bird looking for robot parts, but like, whatever. It's it's a, it's it's a bird that can be easily caught by a lunatic. It wasn't gonna do well in the wild. Yeah, <laughs> bir birds are hard to catch. Yeah, it turns That's out they true. fly. <laughs> and they don't like people. It's hard Not when they're friendly. when they're in the sky. They're hard to get. Yeah, yeah. The big nets is what we need. Really big <laughs> butterfly nets. Flying nets. Ooh, drone nets. Yeah. All right. They Drone make, nets. like tangle things far away remotely. Net yeah. guns, right? They do. It's not just movies. That's not. I'm not sure actually. I've seen it on a YouTube video. Somebody made one. Yeah, mm. but they had to make a thing. Like, y yeah. can I buy a net gun? Can I go to my local like harpoon Look, uh harpoon emporium? emporium? You might not be able to get it in a store, but if somebody's made one and and you've got enough money, then yeah, you can buy it. You can buy all kinds of things. Right. Because like we've said, everyone has a price. Except Even the people that are lying and say they don't have a price. I don't have, I don't <laughs> have a price. I'm not lying. Everyone has a price. Nope. Yep. No, not me. Okay. Okay. We'll see about that. <sighs> yeah, no, money isn't real. Oh, <laughs> well, real the thing is, isn't... you can receive things that aren't just money. Uh, right? But I've got everything that I want. Right, but like, if someone put a gun against my head and was like, "Open this can of tuna fish, or I'm gonna shoot you," mm. I have a price, and my price is not being murdered. Boom! Well, I, I'd be like, "Do it." <laughs> well, that's <I> problematic. <laughs> I'd be like, "I dare you!" <laughs> Fucking make my day. <laughs> Whatever. 
fucking hate tuna fish. Look, um, I practice dying every night, okay? You get used to it. Right. It's not too bad. And with this new four-week course, uh, we too can help teach you how to feel like you're dying. No, it, that's... Does the dead have constant nightmares? No, no, you don't is have a brain. Hell is? You don't have a brain. How do you have nightmares? Your brain doesn't work. I don't know. I, you, if if sleeping is practicing dying... It is. And nightmares exist... Yeah, but that's because you have a just brain. constant nightmares? No. But isn't sleeping because of the brain? Sleeping is a lack of consciousness, and being dead is a lack of consciousness. Mm. Okay. I'm not talking about dreams or REM sleep or like subconscious thoughts while you're asleep. You're talking about the ceasing. I'm talking about practicing and then actually doing it, which is two different things still. But practicing dying isn't that bad when you're asleep. Look, I mean, I guess that's true. Death isn't so bad. You just don't exist. You didn't exist before you got here. And now you would do that again. And it's not it's not. That's not yeah, that bad. trillions of people don't exist. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It, more, it was so more bad. Why them. would trillions of people not exist? Yeah. No, this is off. I think if not existing was bad, they'd stop. Plus, I was thinking about this actually earlier today. I was like, look, if I want to, if I'm gonna die, I don't want like to die like in my bed, like while I'm sleeping or something. Look, this no, is your one amazing. chance. This is your one chance to have like a really high octane experience without any consequence afterwards. Well, no, it's, it's Are you still a consequence. Go, like, All things that happen have consequences. No, that's not really any fun. Do I don't want to hurt anybody. What I want oh. is to be in like a situation where you're like going off of a cliff. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not going to act on things so that I will die. But I'm saying eventually you die, right? And if I'm going right, to die, that's why you see how many foreign heads of state you can. Assassinate no, 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 no. I don't want to oh, kill anybody. I just want I just <laughs> I just want to be in a high speed accident where I'm launched very high into the air and then my car explodes or something like that. Right. Because then you get mostly you're getting like this this mega rush. Right. You're getting this what huge adrenaline win? rush. You won't. No, not with a not with that. That's the, like not what, what I'm talking about. You'd and then the, shocked by what people can live through. Then the other thing I'm talking about dying. I'm not talking about living through. If I live through it, that's great. What an experience to have. I mean, sure, you've got like oh. lots of pain and things like that. But all the other thing is, right? Like, like so let's say you explode in midair, right? The, like, let the, you explode in midair. Yeah, yeah. Your car explodes in midair. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And like, like. Have you ever gotten like a cut or some sort of major injury where you didn't even feel the pain until like much later? But first, what you get is you just get this rush of endorphins. Uh, I think no. so. I think so. Yeah, you just get like I oh I'm hurt and like it's before you're even actually like feeling any of the pain. You're like oh whoa, what is that? What's going on? Because your body's like prepping you so that you don't go into shock or something. And then, uh, so like, that's what I feel like it would be like. You would just get this, like, ah, and then like, you'd be, <laughs> you'd feel really good, but then you'd be dead. You wouldn't have time to get to the pain part. That's my, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what that's I want. Your, that's your hope. That's my ideal death. Oh. Something interesting. Yeah. Firing squad, televised firing squad. That'd be good. That's my ideal death. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Murdered all the foreign heads of state. That's my ideal death. All you know, of them. We all have Wait, our all own the foreign uh... heads of state. Yep. Yeah, I can't murder my own head of state. That would be illegal. <laughs> oh, is it actually not illegal to be like, I want to kill all the other foreign heads of state? It's probably not legal. And I'm probably not going to do any of it because this is a joke. It's a comedy podcast. This is a comedy podcast. It's a, comedy podcast. Podcast. Goddamn it. it's a comedy podcast, but I'm I am serious. i to assassinate a head of any state. Right, but I am serious about the domestic. exploding car off a giant cliff thing. I don't like again. Is, I don't want to die. Truly scary, and he probably should get mental health. I don't want to die, you know. but I do want to experience absolute Therapy terror. Therapy helps everyone, first. regardless of what's going on. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if like you're up in the car, it's in the air, and it's yeah. about to explode, and you're just like, "Yeah, this is boring." Oh, oh God! Right? Then I, that's it's what like... the parachute is for, and then you jump out. <laughs> 
then then you get another like well i thought i wanted that but i didn't you no know, again i don't want to get into the car and do that like look this is the thing i it's not a choice that i want to make to die i want cir right. circumstances beyond my control to give me a very exciting death uh, and if you like that your car jumps in the air and explodes and you have a parachute handy and yeah. you jump out of the car in the nick of time and get devoured by sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Or you fall so, accidentally through a bunch of chainsaws. So accidentally uh, murder a whole bunch of foreign heads of state. <laughs> fall down the stairs and accidentally murder a bunch of heads of state on the way down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The gun falls out of your pocket. You just accidentally catch your toe on the trigger. <laughs> Um, so if you like like uh, like Calvin here are feeling like uh, maybe death is the uh, is an option, it's not. Uh, call one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five, and they can help you uh, get your car to do flips or some shit. Yep. Um, Again, that number is one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Uh, and thus ends the second time we had to fucking read the suicide prevention hotline <laughs> number on our goddamn podcast. <laughs> on our goddamn God comedy it, podcast. Guys. I'm sorry. We had, we had one fucking job to, to not try to get other people to kill themselves. This is, uh, that was it. Look, That's they, all we had to do. If you're going to do it, you know, the, whatever. I mean, <laughs> call no, the don't. number first. Don't, don't, don't listen to him. Don't yeah, listen no, to him. Call the, the number first. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Know something about <clears throat> life that we don't know. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. Magically makes it better. <laughs> no. All right. So I read a, I read an article, and by read an article, I mean read a headline uh, that Ooh. scientists have trained bees to smell COVID. <laughs> okay, that sounds like something scientists could do. And I want to just point out a couple of things. One, I hope it's they they know that the, they smell COVID because they've just stung the person repeatedly. Look, because uh, I don't know how bees communicate, but uh, I'm pretty they sure dance. it's stinging. They and dance. Honey. They do a dance. Fucking. Bees. So can they train the bees to send an email alerting them to the fact that they've detected COVID? They can't, but they can get a video camera to learn the bee dances. And, and send emails? And send emails. <laughs> the computer could send it, I'm sure. Look, well, the thing here that is a surprise to me is bees can smell what is going on. <laughs> I know. Like, what How the else actual do you expect fuck? them to find flowers? They have, they, they have so super delicious. mega eyes. They can see, like, ultraviolet and shit. Who the fuck is like, we need to train something to detect COVID. And they're like, what could we have? Well, we have service dogs that smell cancer and other diseases. Yeah. We have pigs. Pigs that are drug-sniffing pigs. Pigs have great noses. And someone was like, let's do bees. Fuck it. Bees are great. Everyone loves letting bees into hospitals. <laughs> I, I read a headline to an article that says bees are like dumb, easy to train to like react to detected things. They, they, really? They, yeah. They're pretty. The bees are bees are pretty cool little computers with lots they're of like sensors. Super trainable, apparently. Yeah. Weird. And they they uh, you know you can you make a lot of them mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. And, and Quick you know, to they train. don't live very long, so if you're producing them as a commercial product, there's your built-in obsolescence. Yeah, they can. I, I'll sell you a hive of bees. bees that their vision can is smell this. their vision is good enough that they can uh, distinguish between people's faces. Wow. Yeah, but can they see COVID? <laughs> can they, they see the like what what they kids see them? What they, kids they, find in a uh, cinnamon toast crunch? Not hearing it. Can they tell what <laughs> makes cinnamon toast crunch so good for? For kids. Oh, sugar. That would be the shrimp tail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are there shrimp tails in there? No. It depends who you what ask. You, uh... <laughs> God damn it. Um. <laughs> so cinnamon toast crunch. <clears throat> the the answer is obviously fucking sugar. Obviously. French toast crunch, on the other hand. The Maybe French. Not sugar. It's the French. The French. Eggs? Ooh, <laughs> vanilla. Yeah. Probably eggs. It's still probably the sugar, uh, honestly. Sugar is like, you know, it's like it's worse than crack. It's, it makes, so, makes your teeth rot. 
I have a scam. Makes you fat. For you guys. Oh yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And it's not breakfast cereal, which is a great scam, and we should do. It is a great scam. Jesus, it's such a good scam. Here's like this fucking sugar-based fucking <sighs> crunch box, right? That you're gonna shove in your fucking face, and if you're a new adult, welcome to being a new adult. Yeah. And it turns out you eat cereal three fucking times a day because you're a maniac and you haven't learned how to do eggs yet. Uh, you'll get there. Uh, or you won't. <laughs> um, but fucking cereal is a goddamn fucking such a good scam because you just throw some fucking vitamin water style fucking cheap ass powder yeah. in there. You just throw it in. Right. Uh, you, on top you, of your corn based, like corn sweetened crunch flats yeah that are and not then, really uh, that great but they are packed full of addictive sugar they really aren't that great and they're no. crunchy that crunchy is important you is throw it? some things in you throw some things in that kind of look like and almost have the texture of marshmallows but are clearly not marshmallows in any way no. shape or form <laughs> Just ask someone who's never had a marshmallow what a marshmallow tastes like, and they'll describe any cereal's marshmallows. Yes. Yes. God. Uh, it's so aside scam. from that, because it's such a scam. It's such an easy fucking scam. It's really upsetting. Yeah. Just shitty cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that there's a lot of air in them. That's part of it. It's not like cookie. They're like extruder press, so there's like full of like air. Yeah, shitty aerated. Do you cookies. think that's could, important? Because do you think we could figure out a way to cookies. make really yes. delicious uh, cereal that just has a lot of fucking air in it, so like people can mm. eat a box a day almost? That's pretty much all cereal. <sighs> really. Like, it's hugely full of air. Look at the weight on a box of cereal. Oh, it's nothing. I've held it. Look at the weight on, like, a, any amount of anything. And it's be like, like, wow, there's, like, so little actual stuff in here. It's like a box like, this big, and it's like, like a gram. Yeah, and, like, 80% <laughs> of the weight is sugar. And the box itself. Yeah. Man. Cereal I think total scam. A great scam is like really good, actually tasty cereal. No. <laughs> no, they have that and it's too expensive because they don't pump enough air into it. What if it's just a box of M&M's? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel God like I, I would eat that, but I wouldn't be proud of myself afterwards. I feel like but, they have to have like those little rice crunches in there, you know, like... Yeah. um. M and M's and, and Rice Krispies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like Rice Krispies melt some marshmallows in over them and the, like make them into bars, so you don't even need milk. Right. Yeah. Sold. Cereal bars are a thing, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Also, Rice Krispie treats, which is what I was describing. <laughs> bars. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> it's a fair cop. Um. <laughs> but because the crispiness of cereal is so important, on my list of ideas for this show is a spoon that you can pick up dry cereal with and dip it into the milk so that you don't leave the cereal soaking into the milk. Are you seriously pitching a, a small slotted spoon? Yes. Okay. Cereal eating spoon. It's a cereal spoon. Cereal I spoon. actually think I own one of these. It would be slotted on one side to let the milk in, but not slotted on the other side so you can convey the milk to your mouth. Oh, shit. No, that's a, that's a much better idea. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That... Yeah, that's like a, a million dollar idea. <laughs> no, it's not that much money. It's probably. the million dollar idea. It's the million dollar idea. You heard it here first, folks. We're going to have a million dollars <laughs> next time. One idea that's worth a million dollars. And we are, uh, we are like trillionaires at this point. Wow. One if idea ideas were money, we'd have like a <laughs> hundred bucks because we've done a whole bunch of episodes. Which, to be fair, is more than we currently have from mm. this show. Mm. Go to our Patreon. Thunk Tank dot fucking Patreon dot com slash Thunk Tank? Yeah, that one. Yeah, There's that probably a fucking... link somewhere. Yeah, There's a link. On the website you have to look for it, though. YouTube and all the places. We don't care. Do, do website, some... You have to do work If you're a real money. fan, you'll find it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our real fans uh, play our ARGs. Yeah, it's um, an ARG. Look for it. Thunk Tank is an ARG. Is it? 
Maybe it is. It is. The, yeah. The, the it game is finding been. all the ideas we've had that other people have already done. Yeah. There's that secret we just, codes. That we and just stuff. didn't know about because we don't bother to check. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I found no, wait. one of my ideas just the other day. You found it. Yeah. Oh, somebody made Apparently, it. Apparently, they have a, an Uber for stuff. Like just get people to do oh, stuff. Yeah. They have that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Andreas, you were in the middle of of a of a yeah, an yeah, actual yeah, idea, yeah. and we have sidetracked it in the oh yeah, no serial is a great scam. Um, so my scam, and I think we might have mentioned this, is just sending people invoices. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have we mentioned this? I think yeah, that's I for think, sure. Illegal. I think you said this idea. Just what's to stop I, it? Somebody. I mean, is it illegal? Wait, hold on. There was a dude who was doing it. I think to Google or Microsoft or something. And he got in a lot of trouble when they eventually did some accounting and figured it out. How? Like, how? Yeah. They're a giant corporation. Eventually, somebody's going to hire an accountant who's not an idiot. Oh, no. I mean, how did he get in trouble? Not like, how did they oh, catch him? it's illegal. No, it isn't. Pretty sure. No, as long well, as like, you just I'm not charge a lawyer. Like... This is not legal advice, but I'm pretty sure what you're describing is illegal. No, nah, you uh... charge him for the hours they've... Uh... They've uh, done. That's my phone. <laughs> I actually have to. I have to get that. Can we take a pause? Is that a thing we can do? No. What? <laughs> we One can. break from the. We can from the podcast. Yeah, we can totally take a break. Yeah, Fuck I'll yeah. edit this out. Sure, why not? Music. Do 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 do. I mean, music. I spent do, 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 do. all like you know like hours editing out things from last week's. <laughs> So like, what's, but leaving what's... the bit where his, his avatar sits there, yeah, like like it's a broken doll, yeah, <laughs> kind of flopping around there. Um. Yep, yep. There he is. Oh my god! Almost like he's break dancing, but frozen in place. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I, I can't even look that cool intentionally. Yeah. You could add mini M and M's to M and M's, and the M and M's would get better. Whoa, that's crazy. My dax. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Nope, what's going nope. on? He's just flopping so, around lifelessly. So I need to actually take like, like, are we still live? We're, we're still, still yes, we're still alive. Still alive. <laughs> So uh, my landlord is also my car mechanic, and he's next door, and he calls me at, like, 6 o'clock because he has my car. Uh-huh. Uh, so I need to, like, quickly handle that. I'll be back in, like, okay. five minutes. Is that yeah, well, then. No, Have take your time. That. Take your time. We're just, I we're just chilling I here in VR in the middle of our podcast. It's fine. Fuck, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> find, 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 find a... Find a fucking mechanic that calls you at 644 on a weekday. He's like, oh, yeah, I want to show you your car. Cool. God, God damn it. <laughs> well, hope he's cheap. Good luck. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I woke up. Seriously, I was lay, laying down to, to fall asleep and uh, and suddenly saw a message on Discord. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. What are those, oh. what are those guys doing in, in uh, the voice chat? That's weird. Are they playing, you know, a game or something? <laughs> I, what, what the, let me look. Whoa! Is is it's Tuesday? What is what's going on? Yeah, it's hard to remember what day it is. Yeah. it's weird. Like all the days well, just blur together. Like time isn't even real. So we just got back from our second uh, COVID shot. Oh, good. Yeah. How so you feeling? I feel great. Like it, the first one that I got, like my arm hurt right away. This one I can't feel at all. So. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but like that, you know, I had done something today, right? Like, <laughs> like I, had, mm -hmm. I finished a task. So I was like, mm -hmm. done. You knew what day it was then. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, it's all over. <laughs> so that I, I didn't even consider that we were doing it. Today's something. over. Time for a nap. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, hey, we're here now. That's what counts. I got to figure out what I'm going to do exactly while Alex is away. Uh oh. Like time to go completely lunatic and uh breed mutant giant gorillas in the attic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a possibility. Full mad scientist. Full mad scientist while she's gone. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing to stop me now. 
Yeah, no, nothing holding you back. No hmm. ties to humanity whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Just go ahead and kill all humans. Right. Finally. Finally. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. He's, 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 he's... Whoa. He's, a different position has been taken. Oh. He's, it's the end of intermission song, and you have to unmute yourself. End <laughs> of intermission. Got to unmute yourself. In God, the Discord. Fuck. Do we have anyone watching live still? Yes. There are seven people hey. here waiting for you. <laughs> God, what a uh what a fucking nightmare. Uh so why do I only have one hand, you might be asking. No one knows. You've Thanks put them watching together. What what are you doing? Are you gonna sit back in your seat? Nope. Can't can't don't worry about it. <laughs> Physically can't. All right. Welcome back to Thunk Tanked. Uh, one of you or both of you might be wondering questions. No, no, might no. Have question. No, I do have a question. I do have a question. Yeah. Um, how fucked up is my car? What your uh, Volvo 240? How is it? Uh, uh, I, uh, it's it's doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm suddenly less. I feel less bad now that I made them wait. Yeah. Yep. So that's how that's how it is. My Volvo 240 is great and uh -huh. has no brakes. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna What's put some of those in, brakes? or are you just gonna you gonna ride nah, crazy? Nah, for cowards and people <gasps> that. that uh, Congratulations. Is that? Yep. I only have one controller that's working, and it's just mirroring in it's, case you can't tell. It's put it to both hands. That's very. That's nice. Yeah, I've got the other one over here. Oh, it seems to work, but like. Neat. Yeah, I don't know. Anyhow. Um, so yes, are for no. cowards, kids. Just take a stick and push it into the ground to slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put Dama your feet out. Edge. Put your feet out, and you skid to a halt. Open the door. And pick up an your anchor, and then pick up your entire fucking car and run with it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a pussy. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like I was saying, uh, it shouldn't be illegal to send false invoices if it's just invoices for your time. Hmm. Charge them for all the time you've wasted watching YouTube, for instance. So, don't say that. People start billing us. Wait, yeah. So so don't don't bill us, first of all. Secondly, what about sending bills for um cause for services that you are actually providing for them, but that don't actually do anything? Like ghost psychic ghost removal. Oh. oh shit. That's actually pretty funny. Can't prove I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't have, like, any proof you did it or that you had their permission to do it or that they agreed to pay you. I can it's... bill them. They just don't have to pay me. What? Yeah, pay attention. You, you might be less of a criminal, though. That's I'm what I was going lawyer. for. This is not legal advice. Might be slightly more legal if they can't prove yeah. that you did something illegal. It's really their fault if they pay me. That's it what is. I'm saying. Also, hospitals do this all the time because they're evil bastards. If hospitals hmm. do it, then we can. Yeah, do they it. double bill patients. Here, we can't do it. It's probably illegal for us to do it. But if we start a business, Ooh. the business can do it. What are they going to do? Put a business in a prison? They can't. I would actually can't like put to a point business out business in a prison. Have I not state, stated very vocally that I think we should be allowed to imprison businesses if they get to be people? I I, I don't know if you've stated it very vocally, but I share your belief. Yeah, many that people do. Businesses should go to prison. Yeah. However. However, we should do an economic imprisonment for businesses because just like shutting down an entire business puts a whole bunch of people out of work and it's going to be very unpopular and people are going to want to not do it, which would like give prisons like sway on a uh, businesses sway on a jury. So we have to we have economic prison. Businesses go to money jail, hmm. money jail where all of your profits, where all of or, your books are constantly audited by the IRS and anything that could be a profit is re is taken and redistributed to uh, the fucking government and shit. Or the victims until they've been adequately compensated. Uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. What if No more profits or investing until you fucking pay for what you've done. Hmm. Your debt to society. In cash. Hmm. Yeah, your debts are paid in cash. Look, you can either go to jail for they 15 talk about years prison or pay as paying your debt to society. 
Why can't Why? you pay with cash? Because uh, because this is a capitalistic society, and that would make perfect sense if we did it that way. I yeah. think I think yeah. in order to have a business, you need to hire a uh, what would basically be a business scapegoat. A uh, scapegoat, right? Like Can a it person. Be a literal goat. No, it has to be Can a human I being. A goat? Has to be a Why? human being, and they are the physical embodiment, the incarnation of the business, right? Uh, and so, uh, like, if the bit, like, they, if they die, the business is over. The business is finished. <laughs> you can't do business anymore. Oh, and then that's... if, but if they go and they, if they're in jail, business is on hold, and they get a paycheck. So, so why, why don't we just use a physical dummy, right? No, it's got to be a real, a real person. That's okay, but that person liability. has to be in charge of the company. Then no, as no, well. no, 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 no. They are getting paid by the company to be the person that have things happen to. They're taking responsibility for the business. No, I, I. So here's what I'm going to say. I think okay. uh, the CEO, yeah, uh, should be that person. I mean, they and might there be. Should, there should be rules like no one can get paid more than the CEO, for instance. So they can't just have in CE by CEOs by name only. And it just means your your fucking job is risky. You got to make sure everything's by the book. Yeah, if, if the job included some risk, those CEOs might actually be earning their ridiculous paychecks. And they'd have to, they'd probably give a shit about like things like, like environmental safety. Because if they get, right, you know, if they do a murder on a kid because they fucking dumped too much acid into the drinking water, mm. fucking bing, bang, boo. See, what I'm uh, suggesting is basically your idea, but then what they will do with it. Anyway, hmm. then you just, Oh, you're saying that businesses will just hire a scapegoat and let that happen. Yes, that's right. That's why I have to put them in money jail. Re money jail. Businesses seek <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Money jail. You can't money make... jail where we take your money out back and beat the shit out of it regularly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Money <clears throat> jail. It's not a good place for good money. Mm. Yeah, money like you won't last long in money jail. Oh fuck! We just take some of that money and we just give it to like fourteen-year-old investors on Reddit. Oh god! Fucking <laughs> gone in a week. Just no more. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> How lucky for those in those uh, Reddit investors, though. You know. Yeah. Oh no! If they if they profit, the government takes it and gets <laughs> to, like. Yeah, we just put we put them school. in control of it. We don't give them money. Oh, it's like here, right. have, have, to, the have some has fun. To watch their money getting like thrown around by uh, Wall Street bets or yeah. our stonks or whatever. It's, <laughs> I think that's a really great idea because it'll make the whole economy a little bit un more unpredictable, right? Right, which it'll is add good. Some chaos. Volatility is really necessary. Ch chaos is very bad. It's very good. Chaos is exactly what you want. Yeah, isn't it? If you don't want to be able to make predictions to overthrow on overthrow a government. You don't want to make predictions on where like your every money normal will be. person who wants to lead a normal life and like have a steady supply of food and stuff. What needs safety and security, not chaos. Chaos very bad. What you Why? say that like like chaos isn't what we currently have, which it isn't. I'm having empirically. We, I'm we, having we a great time with my, with my chaos. Something slightly better than chaos. Like there are supply lines that feed me every day. Mm, that's, that's true. true. That's, that's true. true. That's true. Like I don't grow my own food. I don't know anybody who does. But I see. I feel like that can break down at any moment. Like I've never expected it's... that to be there. I'm just uh, every I time I like... go into the grocery store, I'm like, wow, they're still putting food here. <laughs> These <laughs> idiots <laughs> keep making food it's for crazy. me. These dumbasses <laughs> haven't figured out that I just give them this worthless paper. I put this stupid piece yeah. of plastic <laughs> in this thing, and then they just let me walk away with the food. It's nuts. I mean, <laughs> it kind of is nuts, to be fair. Like, it's amazing. We live in a utopia, except yeah. it's not a utopia. U utopia, except some people get more utopia than others, and some people just get crippling medical debt. Oh, is there Ooh. a name? Is there a name for like a thing that looks like a utopia on the outside, but is actually a dystopia? Is there? A... Yes, I don't remember what it is, but I remember alert going. Ooh, that's a cool fact. And then oh, I... Is it a tutopia? I want to learn that. Utopia. Zootopia. Uh, chat, could you uh, go ahead a... and <laughs> that up for us? 
<laughs> Zootopia. I'm I'm singing to Zootopia. It's Zootopia. I Zootopia? think that, that's probably right. I think I've seen that true. movie. I that. I'm probably. pretty sure it's a uh, it's some something for furries. I don't really know though. Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> anyway, so you had a did you get your uh your cereal uh thing out of the way did you get your idea out oh I, my idea was to start double billing uh oh okay okay, okay. fake medical bills from okay. fake hospitals okay wait how did the cereal tie into that it didn't oh i don't remember it's <laughs> a giant fucking scam Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay pot mckin village mm. pot mckin village potemkin village is uh is I think uh, communist Russia built these like fake villages oh. to look more prosperous than they actually were to show to like outsiders. Yeah, wow. which is yeah. which is sort of the same concept as what you were talking about. Yeah, does North Korea have that? Yeah, I was just gonna say I think North Probably. Korea does a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, I've never been to North Korea. You know they have the world's <laughs> like largest hotel. It has the most rooms. Yeah, yeah, You're I think I saw a documentary thing on that. largest exporter of monuments uh, honoring dictators. What? Really? Yeah. Did they export one? Or do you mean importer? They, they actually export right. a surprising number of monuments. They export monuments. They make monuments I they, and... I don't know if they actually export the physical monument or, like, ship the molds and build them in place or what oh. the actual process is. Huh. They just got hmm. good at it. There's like people there that have been doing that. They for a built while. enough monuments of Chairman what's his name and Yeah. Chairman Wow. That that's China. Chairman Mao is China. Who's who's his name? Wow. I don't care. Uh, Kim Jong un I don't care, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fuck no, him. he's dead, he's isn't he? Bastard. He's not yeah, dead. Fuck him, I hope so. He's dead, it's he, his sister. He's dead, he's been replaced by a body double. The lizards wow, got him. Oh, the lizards. Damn those. I thought it was his sister now. Wait. Wait, oh, are these the same? Take over. I read that in an article. Are these the yeah, same lizard men we like, were talking about at the beginning? Dead. Did we come no, full circle? Different lizard, men. different lizard men. Okay. Yeah, thirty-seven thousand different tribes of lizard men are simultaneously trying to take over the earth. Wow, that's a lot. That's more yeah, than I'm I would sorry. have expected. All... I would have been like five. At least twenty percent of them are from inside the earth. Uh huh. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. the earth is hollow. Right. 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 And ha and has a race of super intelligent dinosaurs uh -huh, uh -huh. fighting other races of super intelligent lizards. The what, dinosaurs are fighting the lizards. Them? Yes. Okay, okay. Which ones of them are angels? Um, the ones with wings. And how do the how does this become anti Semitic? It's not until the anti Semites start using lizard as a code word for like Jews. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh yeah. So, no, this is mostly upsettingly real. Mm. Like most things. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. no. <laughs> Not the lizard <laughs> lizard part, people part, but the but part the hollow earth and the dinosaurs. As... Wait, no. Yeah, that's very real. That's very yeah. Real. No, obviously, so Jurassic Park's the documentary. They just changed it to island so no one would get trapped down there and hurt. Yeah, instead of art, our Antarctic uh, hole to the center of the world. Yeah, like in that movie I just watched with King Kong. Yeah, yeah. Journey yeah, to yeah. the center of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Journey yeah, to the Kong, center of King the Kong. Center of the earth. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. Journey oh, to the that's... center of King Kong uh, is that that's the one where they he gets eaten by King Kong. Right? No, Godzilla goes inside of King Kong, I think, to find yeah, he his. Yeah, gets shrunken down to like heal a, a, a cancer or a bullet wound or something. Yeah, yeah. In, what? In a tiny Why? He's flying submarine. through in a submarine and he's shooting all the cancer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to shoot the cancer. That was that that was a good real event that actually happened. Yeah, F fantastic. Uh, King Kong. Fantastic Zilla Kong. Thanks, Kong. Fantastic journey Zilla to the Kong. Center of the Kong. To Fantastic the... Zilla Journey to the Center of the Kong. That's a... <laughs> this is my favorite thing that has ever happened on this whole. <laughs> okay, hold on. I've come almost here. Oh. So Egyptian oh. cotton is just a total scam. It's yeah, it's, cotton it's that lower comes thread from count. Egypt. What? It's just lower thread count. No, 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 no. There's a variety of cotton known as sure. Egyptian cotton. I've but bought any some. cotton, even the cheap shitty cotton, if it's grown in Egypt, is Egyptian cotton. That can't total be right. Total scam. Is it? 
Yeah. Why is it always a lower thread count than other cotton products? Higher oh, thread count. Because it's cheap crap, probably. Lower. It should be higher. Higher is better. Higher is better. Higher is better right? I'm not disputing except, that it's bullshit. Except thread counts are also deceptive because you can have like different weaves, some of which have higher thread count, but aren't actually better. Well, they don't say 400 thread count with a, with a I don't know, a loop-de-poop weave. They just tell me how many threads exactly. there are in the count. If you go to, like, the high-end stores, the same thread count feels better. Why is that? Because they use better weaves and have better products. And people care. I've slept wow. on literal beds of sand before and didn't that care. That sounds actually relaxing, except for the sand fleas. Yeah, just there was only like, there, like not all sand, like more like, you know, just like a handful of sand in a bed. That sounds oh, awful. Why would you do that? That's not great. I can yeah, sleep on that. anything. I can Good sleep, for you. I can sleep on anything. Oh. It, you, of course, Why your sister. You sleep on anything, but my computer goes to sleep and it crashes. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm, not really, I'm sorry about that. My, you know, not everybody's can go to sleep properly i know the, the your your sister uh she needs to be sleeping on like like a cloud uh, atomic special, special sleep, doctor clouds. a perfect atomic surface you know right infinitely smooth infinitely, infinitely smooth. strong yeah <laughs> yeah no i'm i i understand that the carbon nanotube uh, fiber weave Ooh, has soft. anybody done that in real life no no it's super nanotube nanotube cancerous nanotube? No, it's not. The nanotubes Carbon aren't. fibers are like, all right? Nanotubes are like mega... Oh, they're bad for your lungs. Yeah, you don't want to breathe, breathe in the carbon Don't breathe nanotubes. in the carbon. There, there's... Don't, don't sleep and breathe, guys. No, no, no. One so, or the other. The problem is, is that we can only make like like four inches or, or less of carbon nanotube with current processes. Oh. Well, just keep doing that until you have enough for a bed. I mean, it's not... Well, okay. Four inches at a time. Yeah. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Okay. Problem solved. Brainstorm time. Who can yes. come up with a better material for mattresses than foam? Because first there was like mattresses with springs and padding and shit. Now it's foam. What's the next big the step? The next big step. The next big thing in mattresses. Ooh, yeah. In ooh, sleeping air environments. Pocket. No. You like an air mattress. They have that. No, 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 no. Like the little pillows that come in Amazon things. <laughs> yeah. But it's just all of that. Hmm. No? They, yeah. I don't think so. I think that People would fail pop for the them. Same reason water beds failed. Water beds suck. Yeah. They it really sounds really great, them. and then it's like, wow, this is horrible. Yeah. Oh, my back is just a U shape. It's like, yeah, it's like <laughs> sleeping in a like a slow hammock. It's like a slow it's hammock. Like, it's like a <laughs> shitty Magnetic hammock that might ruin your floor. Beds. Maglev beds? Who wants maglev beds? Yeah. How do we? Oh. oh, oh, you know, it's strong enough magnets and you can't, because because humans have an electromagnetic field. It's just like really oh, weak, fuck, right? That'll fuck your brain up. Nah, mm. will it? No. Nah. Nah. Look, I've seen, so. I've seen a video of the high powered magnets and they like levitate a frog in the inside of it. He's just floating around in there. Yeah, he's also no, frozen I, I, solid. No, he's not. He's not. He's fine. He's. I see it, his legs are going like this. He's doing the, oh. the thing. Oh yeah, you're right. I remember that. Yeah, video. I think they have maglev beds. Maglev beds where you actually levitate. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's a good idea. They'd can be I, huge, you, but they'd be awesome. Can I put you on a different one? Yes, please. Rumble beds, and I know what you're thinking hmm. is like. That's like those weird beds that used to shake at motel rooms for court. <laughs> no, I've only seen like movies. Super Smash Brothers. No, no, like a car. <laughs> what do you mean, like a car? Have you ever been tired and you're in a car? Oh, see, I've never and slept it's like in a car. Dark and it just slightly vibrates. No, and it just puts you right to sleep, and it's so soothing. Mm -hmm. I understand that people have that thing. I have that thing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hit me up in the comments for how you, know you reduce what? that outside as an adult. There's like, a not in a car. There's a definite audience for that, and I think that's a a thing that could be done with just some like um, like four or five strong rumble motors. Yeah, probably. But like shit, put great. them under the foam mattress, and the whole thing just. 
very subtle. Very subtle, yeah. You just need a little bit of that white noise or what is that noise? Brown noise? Yeah. Gray yeah, noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So selectable. You can, you can, you can you pick your kind of car. You noise you listen to. You know, you get Ferrari, sedan. I want like a an 03 Toyota Corolla uh, <laughs> driven by preferably my mother. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, no fast revs. Just, you know, we're yeah. going home. There's, yeah. You've had probably birthday cake. It uh-huh. wasn't good birthday cake, but no, it, it sure is. had sugar in it. And oh, you're yeah. fucking out. <laughs> out. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, that's your go to sleep stuff. I It sure has been in the past. Mm. I haven't been able to experience birthday parties for like a year. Uh-huh. And uh, my mom driving me home from a birthday party in like a long time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, 15 years, 10 years. I right. don't know. Since Who knows how old I am? Who no knows? one knows. Nobody does. It's a mystery to everyone. Uh, look, yeah, uh, that's that's my, you guys know my my go to sleep thing is ancient um, alien, ancient aliens. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's my uh, that's my fall asleep uh, trick. Uh, my uh, it's oh, yeah. it's special, right? I want to, it's special because you. You know it's all bullshit. Everything that they say that comes out <laughs> is like a pure total garbage, and, and and ridiculous. So I'm listening to it, and I only care just the tini- tiniest amount because it's really cool sci-fi sounding nonsense, right? And but I don't care enough to believe in it, so I don't need to listen through the whole thing. So when I'm starting to pass out, I just stop caring. But then there's this nice droning, uh, reassuring, convincing voice, and I just. God. I knock right out. I did I the like... same thing with old episodes of QI. QI, oh, really? Get that with the laughing and everything. People. British yeah. people, British people. Wow. A nice, con- like especially what's his name? The guy who was like the middle guy. I'll think of it in a minute. Um, Stephen Fry. Mm-hmm. Yes, Fry. Yes. There was a first guy that wasn't Stephen Fry. No, no, I'm thinking of Stephen Fry. There's another guy who was something oh. Kotzvig. What's her name? You you meant guy, in the whatever. middle of the chairs, not in the in the middle. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was the center guy in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. No, he he was better in my opinion, only because I just liked his his uh, his voice and his demeanor. Mm. His voice helps me sleep. I'm sure he's done an audiobook. I should probably buy it. Oh yeah. God, he's done a lot of stuff. He's he's yeah. great. So Brian Laurie was funny. I think um, there's some great, show. great scam ideas here in general, like. Taking all like making special cuts of like QI, right? That are just <laughs> Stephen Fry's voice in QI explaining things. Quiet, reassuring voices. Yeah, speaking I think. Speaking softly. Yeah, the sound of cars. Things that aren't that important. Yeah, I think there's some sort of sleepscape uh, product that could be made here. Hmm. So I will say, Sound of Cars is definitely a YouTube video you can get. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I've, I've I've had rain and plane engines and yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I, I've actually seen artillery. I sleep. Uh, I sleep to uh, uh, ten hours of the Enterprise engine room, warp core sounds. Ooh, it's oh, really great. One, it's actually. really that, awesome. That, that weird low hum. Yeah. So do you have headphones in for that? No, I just put them out on speaker. Okay. See, I sleep in silence. I sleep for silence. I like sleeping with silence, but I don't achieve it as often as I'd like. I uh, I put my head down with the lights off, and then I spend 45 minutes trying to not think about work. <laughs> and then I <laughs> finally fall asleep, and I wake up, and I go to work. And it's an interesting kind of mix. <laughs> you know what I do? I pre-dream. Ooh. pre-dream yeah yeah i start Ooh. telling myself little stories i like uh i make up situations and things and i'm like yeah and i've got a laser gun but i'm i'm a uh you, you know uh an amoeba with a laser gun and i'm Osmosis, yo. going through yep. and like there's all these other things and you, you just make stuff up that doesn't even have anything to do with anything and by the time you're like you know, laying there and visualizing it, suddenly you're actually dreaming. 
I make stuff up too to go to sleep, but I usually stuff I'm angry about and doesn't help. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, don't do yeah. that. Yeah, getting yourself angry doesn't help you sleep. No. Anger, yeah, anger no, is the opposite doesn't. of sleep. No. You guys remember Osmosis Jones? I do. Was it a movie? It was. Yeah. And it was also a kids cartoon show. That had. I was think it? I saw the cartoon show. The cartoon show was terrible. Bill Murray was in the movie, right? Yeah. Sounds and it was right. like sounds... CG, right? Yeah, it was like, like cartoon CG, I think. With but the... like real life shots of Bill Murray. Yes. Right? But then the like cart the... the kids cartoon was all like hand drawn and chitty. No. Oh. Weird. Yeah, most kids cartoons based on movies sucked, but some of them were bizarre. Hmm. They made like a kids cartoon version of um Oh, what was it? The one with the guy in the striped suit, and he was a ghost. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah, they made a kid cartoon of Beetlejuice. That That's was awesome. That was. It's totally not, but it's awesome. They did. They <laughs> did a. They did uh, kids cartoons of Rambo. What? I need to see that. Yeah, and uh, no. uh, Who's Chuck like... Norris had a kids cartoon called Chuck Norris <laughs> Karate Commandos. He did. Yeah, but that's just. Mr. T God, had a terrible. had a cartoon show. Mr. T had a cartoon show. Yeah. It was also terrible. Yeah, it was awful. Most of these cartoon shows are terrible. Yeah. Most I, cartoons oh, are terrible. How one of those that? wrestlers had it. Uh, Sarge, the, the sergeant guy. Sergeant uh, Slaughter had a, yes. had a cartoon show. Yeah, the kid's cartoon I'm, show. Didn't, uh, what's his name? The blonde guy turned out to be a racist. He had a TV the cartoon guy too. That turned out to be a racist. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan? Yeah, he yeah. totally He's had a, a kid's cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Son of a bitch. I should have seen that. Isn't he German? I don't know. Let's not start nasty no. rumors about Hulk Hogan. He's just Let's... a racist. Probably not. A <laughs> You're right. He's he's a racist, and we shouldn't pile on top that he might be German, too. Jesus. <laughs> Are any of your, uh, oh, any of your German? Are you guys, uh, probably. Any of you guys German? I mean, I'm a no. mutt, you know? Oh, I don't mean you. I meant our viewers. Oh, our yeah, viewers. Yeah, we don't offend our viewers by calling Germans all. Well, if you go to our or... our Patreon, you can pay me to stop shit talking Germans. <laughs> My political opinions are for sale. <laughs> Is Germans are great a political opinion that's no, allowed? No, it's not. Yeah, probably. Political... That's it's just more racism. That's geopolitics, right there. It's not no, that's racism. Geopolitics. It's racism. What liking Germans is racist? No, just, like, it's not uh, uh, <laughs> so what I said. <laughs> that's oh what my I heard. God, now, and that's what matters. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Should we move on to some other topic? Sure. What's the new topic? Yeah. What's your What's your topic, Mister Topic Guy? Look, what's I was topic? asleep, and I coming at I, me <laughs> with your topics. I I did a. I got a second vaccine today. Uh, oh yeah, drink some more water. Yeah, I definitely That's have already done that, and I will do some more. Uh, I I went at our our we went to Five Guys afterwards. That was our reward. Fuck yeah, yeah. Five, five Guys. guys. Is, there were there were indeed five guys working at the place, which I wow, that's a first for me. Um. I've never counted the number of guys at Five Guys. You should always count, yeah. and then always ask them. Hey, so uh, you probably did this a lot, three guys? but uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> they, but they love that. Don't harass Five Guys employees. <laughs> yeah, but like, so I am like full up on uh, milkshake, burger, and fries. Right. Yum, and, yum, uh, delicious in your tum tum. And I've forgotten <laughs> that there was a podcast today in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, and uh, you shouldn't eat before a podcast. It degrades your performance. Oh, uh, I was like, I was just like, wonk, ready to pass out. Saw the message on Discord and was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I ran up here and put my VR headset on. So I started shit talking immediately. Yeah, <laughs> when you were on here, I was just, I just was like, come on, gotta have a an alarm set every time. Uh, yeah, well, I've never forgotten it before. I didn't know that Except I would. The other time what, when uh, you fell asleep. Did I? Did this happen before? Yeah, you, 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 you slept. Had, in. You don't remember it though because no. you were asleep for most of the episode. Wow. 
Yeah, and we don't know how to record that, an episode without you. So that, that does that sound like me. It does sound like me. Um, I hate it when I do things and I'm and someone tells me is like you fucking did this. And I'm like that's, a, that's bullshit. <laughs> and they're like, no, you you said it was because of this, this, and this. And you're like, I don't even give a fuck. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess that that sounds that, exactly that, like something I would do. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> fuck you for having to happen to you and me not remembering. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. No, speaking of fast food, have you seen all the pe people complaining they can't get people who want to work? Nobody wants to work, so we can't have employees for our fast food restaurants? No, what's what's this? No. No, it's like going around social media, some, some restaurant would be like, oh, we're short-staffed because nobody wants to work. Huh. That's what they always say. But then, like, huh. I don't know. I feel like they have other qualifications. So if you're listening to that one guy at Walmart in the mm. in the uh, mechanic area that I talked to like two years ago, yeah. no one wants to work that can pass a drug test, <laughs> which is a vastly different statement than no one wants to work. It's the statement he has really is no one who isn't high wants to work here. No one who can get a better job yeah. wants to work at the Walmart fucking auto place. Well, that, I, well yeah. that's very, I mean, that sounds very that's, likely. It's just like, true. It's like you're yeah. working at Walmart. You have to work with like horrible cars. And you have to deal with the people who are getting their cars serviced at Walmart. And you have to not get I high. Do, so I'm not shitting on those people too much. But you really, <laughs> I wouldn't if I could afford better. Yeah. And you can't get high. Which is and you can't get high because apparently Walmart drug tests their employees like a bunch of fucking fascists. <laughs> narcs. <laughs> Call them narcs. If you work for Walmart, unionize. Uh, if you work for oh, anybody, fuck. unionize. Fuck it. Unionize demand better pay and treatment. No, and no drug tests. That, fuck uh, drug tests. I worked at a place that And fuck none. the police. Oh. <laughs> and the government. <laughs> fuck the government. Don't pay your taxes, kids. Um... <laughs> That's not this legal a, advice. This is a fictional <laughs> podcast <laughs> with fictional people <laughs> and fictional ideas. It's jokes. It's all jokes. It's just jokes. So, we're not suggesting you assassinate billionaires. Just jokes. Don't. Yeah, yeah. We're just saying that the economy might right itself if you did. Um, oh boy. Might. Might. <laughs> might. Jesus. It's not <laughs> legal advice. Or any sort of advice. Don't do yeah. what we say. Yeah. This isn't advice. What we do. In case the in case the fifteen minutes at the beginning where we told you basically suicide's an option and then told you don't do it. <laughs> and then said <laughs> None of the state. Look, at no point was I talking about suicide. I, no, I'm talking about talking about dying. Yeah, there was, dying. There's a, there is a difference. It sounded like he was talking about suicide. No, but it wasn't. So good on you with the suicide prevention hotline good. that you apparently yes. have on speed dial or something. Which is, which is again. <laughs> Are you okay, one, bro? One eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Call that number. Say help. I don't know. Yeah, Can, I don't, I've never done it. But there's no shame in doing it. Look, if you're gonna if you're gonna kill yourself, uh, might as well might call as that well number. Might as well call the number first, and because you know, once you do that, that you can't undo it very easily. You've got yeah, nothing yeah, to lose. You need There's nothing to lose. Just call a number. Yeah, assassinate you... a foreign head of state. Whatever. Right. Uh, you like, got nothing to lose. if you want to come back, you need lightning bolts down. and like a big like table to lie on. I've yeah, seen the big put, like, switches. Bolts and have a headache all you the time. You don't want that. You don't want that. Fucking it's a bad situation. Pretty sure you do murders. That's yeah. You're not really. I'm not well, you get familiar. angry really easily, is what I've seen. Well, that's only if your brain was fucked up ahead of time. Oh. So, I feel like that one's that one's kind of well, you can't you can't escape your brain even in death. Hmm. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds horrible. Yeah, what if your consciousness extends beyond death? That would be scary. I hope that oh, and awesome. if it does, uh, pay us before you die, and we'll kill your ghost once you are dead to put you or out of your put room. it in a, a box, box and ship it to people <laughs> and yes. ship it to someone at random <laughs> what fun go so haunt random strangers for fun <laughs> hopefully you've been listening to this podcast for long enough that you get that reference otherwise and if you that just it, sounds uh, really uh, weird dot com ghostcrate.com ghostcrate.com <laughs> You have to say it three times, otherwise they won't have yeah. typed it by the time you said it the first yeah. time. What? Ghostcrate.com? Oh, ghostcrate. I went to ghostcrate.com, and I got a new ghost from my ghost crate, 
in my house. Wow. And now you won't leave me alone. Well, you so weren't supposed like, to open the box. There's specific instructions on the box to not open it and let the ghost out. Don't open, don't open the box. You might ask, what's in the box? It's a the ghost. Is, it's a ghost. Don't open don't it. Don't open the box. Why would you open the box? There's a ghost in there. You know there's a... You Stop. paid for there to be a ghost in the box. Why would you Why? open the box? If you Why let the you ghost out of the box, it might leave. Then you don't have a ghost yeah. anymore. Then you don't have a ghost. What the hell? You don't have no. a ghost in the box now. What You're going to have to go back for? to ghostcrate.com and, and get yourself a ghost. new ghost in a box. And or keep it in the fucking box. Or just get our monthly uh, ghost in the box. You can get a new yeah. ghost every month. Yeah. Uh, different, different types, ghost. different countries they come from, all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Different element types. You can yeah. make them battle each other. Hey. I mean, but that's up to you. You'd have to let them that's out of the box. That's up to you, and that, that is ghost abuse, and everyone agrees it's morally bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's so much. Oh, Why oh, are people oh. okay with Pokemon fights, but not dog fights? Ghost dog fights? Pokemon. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I, there's an idea brewing here. What if, along with Ghost Crate, you can buy a special extra box that's specially lined that you can put two boxes into and hook up to little, like, rigs so that you can open both the boxes and make the ghosts fight? It's awful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thunk Tank does not condone ghost fighting, <laughs> dog fighting, nor Pokemon battles. <laughs> Or suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're hard against those four things. Those Everything four things. Foreign heads of wobble. state, but we only disagree with that for legal reasons. Mm. Yeah, we disagree with it for legal reasons because we think it should be legal to say you can do that. Mm. But it isn't, so we are not saying it. Yeah. And we wouldn't say it if it was legal because I think we're... Oh, my gosh. Lawyers. We're lawyers. We, we're lawyers? Wait, we're lawyers now. Okay, we are lawyers. This is legal advice for your oh. personal lawyers. All of this is legal advice. Yeah, give us a dollar on Patreon and we'll legally be your lawyers, except not. Except um, this is also what fiction you based <laughs> on a true story. True. None of this is true. What? Based on what a true story. Uh, this wonderful expose here. Hmm. Hmm. What are we exposing? The, 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 what do you learn? It's the I think it's the end of the episode. It is. It is definitely. This is how we do this. What have you learned from the episode? I learned that uh, that I, I don't know. I don't know what I learned. Probably something about how uh, breakfast cereal is made mm. out of wishes and sugar farts, and we should <laughs> probably get in on that fucking cash cow right now. I, I guess. Can I we sell it as healthy? Yeah. Hmm? No, they do. Yeah, That's what cereal does. Health food store cereals. That's what cereal no, no, sold no. as healthy. Like... It's part of a balanced breakfast. Yeah, like Special K. That's just sold as being super healthy. Oh god. But even right. like Not even like fruity freaking pebbles says on it that like it's full of vitamins and minerals and stuff. That's just to give like what I'm going to hesitantly call neglectful parents. Uh, an excuse to feel morally neutral about buying it for their small child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they market it as healthy. Exactly. Yeah. Everything's yeah, marketed as healthy. Even stuff that isn't healthy. You can go to a health food store and buy donuts. What the fuck is that shit? That's awesome. You I can, want some donuts. I don't, I don't know what that is because I haven't seen those yet, but that sounds wonderful. Are so, they vegan donuts? Probably vegan or gluten-free or some other bullshit. That sounds uh, awful. Wow. Cool. Today I learned that I uh, this is actually the second time that I almost slept through the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's a good thing to learn. Yeah. Today I learned that you can train bees to attack COVID patients. <laughs> and if you combine that with the murder hornet, <laughs> yes. we can end the pandemic. Wow! Yay! Oh my gosh, that's the most brilliant murder idea yet. Came back in. Oh, God, that's super upsetting. <laughs> Amazing. And with that, uh, let's. Uh, Wait, we with don't that, have to pick a title for our, episodes? our Patreon uh, because I need to blow it on on breakfast cereal. Uh, God, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Breakfast cereal is kind of like uh, a, like drugs, but uh, it tastes shittier. I think. Mm. I'm just assuming. Yeah, it's a good assumption. Is Barney the dinosaur a kaiju? <laughs>